I'm so glad to be here. Uh, my name is Chloe Petz. Uh, I'm very gay, if you uh, sort of couldn't tell from everything I have on offer. Um, uh, uh, thanks for the loud laugh at the back. I appreciate it. Um, I, uh, I have a girlfriend now. I'm very pleased about that. I was trying to sort of think about whether I have a type in women. And I realised that I've only ever dated women that are sort of significantly smaller than I am. And I was trying to think why. And then I realised it's because um, small women never finish their dinners. <laughs> Uh, so when I'm in a relationship, I'm eating like 125% of my usual capacity and that really works for me. Um, <laughs> it's the only reason that I've ever considered polyamory. <laughs> so I could just sort of like go around my girlfriends like a cat going around the neighbours begging for food. <laughs> One lasagna for me, please, girlfriend number four. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, it's very good being in a relationship. Who's in a relationship here? <laughs> you two really are in a relationship. It's like your relationship is falling apart and you're trying to touch to put, bring it back together. Yeah. <laughs> you're, uh, you're really all over each other. Uh, no, it's great being in a relationship. Even in the bad times, I sort of try and remind myself like how cool my 15-year-old self would find me. <laughs> Do you ever think this? <laughs> They'd be like, you have had sex at least once. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who are you? Prime Minister of the Cool Gang? <laughs> Chancellor of the Sex Checker? Jesus Christ, you're cool. I think this thing is happening, because I, I think uh, me and my girlfriend were moving at a quick rate, and everyone says that like lesbians move at a quick rate, right? There's that sort of whole lesbian joke where they're like, oh, what does, what, you know, what does a lesbian bring to a first date? A moving in truck, ha, 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 very funny. Um, <laughs> obviously, we we're moving in truck to our first date, maybe like a sort of couples counsellor. <laughs> to like finesse some communication issues early, but we wouldn't bring a moving in truck. We're not, we're not fucking idiots, right? I think that me and my girlfriend are on a quantum lesbian timeline. <laughs> we've moved so fast that we've somehow like overtaken the speed of sound and we now have two children that are also somehow our grandmothers. <laughs> quantum lesbians, baby. Um, we are moving quite quickly, but not, not at like a weird rate. But I do think that I, I sort of, as a lesbian, have to think about the logistics of lesbian childbirth sort of quite early. There's lots to get your head around, lots to think about. And I, I kind of have got my head around everything. There's just a bit um, that, that I'm worried about. And that's the fact that I can never tell my kid that they're a mistake for banter. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's also like loads of things you need to think about, like who's going to carry the child, right? Because it's like, you know, my girlfriend's more beautiful, I'm more functional. Um, <laughs> so we have to decide, do we want the baby to be aesthetically pleasing or structurally sound? Um, <laughs> uh, they also say if your kid's got two mums, um, then uh, it needs a strong male role model as well, which I think is a bit of a reductive theory, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of going, out, going with it. I'm just keeping an eye out. Um, you're, you're not in the front running. <laughs> Mate, what's your name? Alfie. Alfie, okay. No, you could probably guess. Um, <laughs> you got a bit of a look of an Alfie about you. Um, uh, but to be honest, uh, you probably wouldn't fit the kind of profile of guy I'm looking for anyway, because I'm sort of... Right. That's right, mate, I'm just doing a record. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just trying to get my jokes out. Um, <laughs> I think that we're on a ratio now where I've involved you so much that you probably will make the edit. Um, <laughs> so let's just fucking lean into it. Like, I've got a whole bit about darts that I'm not going to have time to do now, but that's fine. I've got Alfie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying is uh, I'm looking for a strong male run model. Alfie wouldn't fit the profile. The reason Alfie wouldn't fit the profile is because I'm looking for the campus guy possible to level out my levels of testosterone, right? <laughs> because I've done a strong survey of this room. I am the alpha male in it. Because um, I've got something called big dick energy, haven't I? <laughs> like, I've got, I've got no penis, but I've got the aura of a nine inch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why no one sat there. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I know what I look like. I know what I look like. Um, which is why it's kind of, it was difficult for me to come out uh, recently. Uh, as a vegetarian. Um, <laughs> no one believe me. It, it, people think that I sort of look like I bullied a vegetarian. <laughs> um, but not that I actually am one. But I am, I am. I, it's really easy. Give me a cheer if you're a vegetarian. <laughs> Best kind of people. It's so fucking easy. It, you, you don't have to do anything. You just stop eating meat. Really easy. And you replace it with an unholy amount of cheese, right? <laughs> Like, my carbon footprint is far worse than it was <laughs> when I was a meeting. They say that you can have, like, one steak for three blocks of cheddar. I'm clearing that by any given Wednesday. I'm no pussy. Come on. <laughs> have you ever had a cheese sandwich where the bread is also cheese? <laughs> That's a pet special. Um, 
people get raging though when I say like occasionally what I'll do is I'll have a little bit of meat off the plate of one of my girlfriends, right? And um, they'll get really angry and be like, you're not, that, that means you're not a vegetarian. Like they want moral consistency out of me more than they want sort of like a gradual attempt to better myself. And they'll be like, you're not a vegetarian, then you're a flexitarian, at best you're flexitarian. And what I say to those people is, look, when I was in my late teens, I sucked a penis once a financial quarter. Let's say. <laughs> just to check, did not make me straight, right? It's the same thing we try and meet, you've just got to check, right? <laughs> Guys, that is all I've got time for. You've been absolutely wonderful. I've been Chloe Petz. Give it up for Alfie. Give it up for me! <laughs>